the day will come where all the stars in the galaxy are no longer replenished with new stars because we've run out of gas. You've made your last star, and then the stars begin to burn out. It's as though someone turns off switches one by one. If you looked at the Milky Way galaxy from afar, it slowly begins to get dimmer and dimmer as the dying stars are not replenished and eventually the galaxy fades away. The era of stars has come to an end. What remains of this once majestic galaxy will be thrown off into the void or hurled into the center where it will be devoured by swarms of black holes. Eventually, even the black holes will consume each other. You'd never see it. But you might be able to detect ripples in their gravitational fields. Scientists are now mapping the complex pattern produced when two black holes draw close, orbit, then collide. And what of that supermassive black hole at the core of the Milky Way? The dragon will be there at the end consuming the remnants of the galaxy. And yet, even it is not eternal. We know through the brilliant efforts of Stephen Hawking that black holes evaporate. It's a phenomenon that requires quantum mechanics to predict and to understand. But imagine that here's this thing that eats everything within its grasp, but slowly gives off an atom at a time. The supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies eventually evaporate away to nothing. That's another kind of end. That's a Google years from now. Ten to the hundredth power, one with hundred zeros. That's a long time. As the giant black hole enters its final death throes, it begins to radiate visible light. Its intense gravity distorts all the light around it, perhaps that of other dying black holes in the Virgo cluster. It grows hotter and hotter until, finally, the black hole and the galaxy itself come to an end. <laughs> 